Hello, my name is Mark Joseph and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And this is Step Parent Adoption 101. The idea of this video came from one of you who requested that I do a video attacking this topic. So if you or anyone else that you know may have a question, send it to me and I'll prepare a video answering that question. So what is step parent adoption? As the name would suggest, it is when a step parent would decide to adopt a minor child who is not common to their new spouse. Let's say that mom and dad were previously married and then got a divorce. In this divorce, they entered a parenting plan because they have a minor child. And as part of that parenting plan, mom would have the majority of the time with the minor child and dad would have some time, but not as much. A couple of years pass after the divorce and mom meets a new man, let's say stepdad. Mom and stepdad now get married. In the process, dad began to not spend as much time with the minor child. However, stepdad started to become a more active member in the minor child's life. And eventually, it got to the point where stepdad and mom started discussing whether it'd be a good idea to have stepdad adopt the minor child. In Florida, most individuals are allowed to adopt so long as they don't have a physical or mental handicap which would prevent them from being an effective parent. The step-parent must be married to one of the legal parents of that minor child prior to that step-parent adoption. In most cases, the simpler ones, the other parent would consent to the adoption and would put it in writing and memorialize it with a notary stamp as well. Step parent adoptions are usually done by the consent of all the parties, mom, dad, and stepdad, or through the termination of the parental rights of one of the parents who is not seeking the adoption, or the abandonment by that same parent. It is the court's public policy that minor child or children have a positive upbringing and bond with both of their parents. However, in the unlikely or unfortunate circumstance in which one of the parents are not as involved with that child and the other parent has remarried or gotten married to someone else who wants to be involved in that child's life, the court would make deference to allowing that new parent to have the same rights and obligations to that minor child or children. That being said, one thing to consider is once the step-parent adoption goes through, that other parent has those rights and obligations. So if in the unlikely circumstance that those parties get divorced, they can request time sharing and have shared parental responsibility, as referenced in my previous videos. And they would be obligated to child support as well. Although adopting a minor child is an amazing experience, it could have its downfalls if you're not in it for the long haul. Although a step-parent adoption can be simplified and that a lot of the forms are available online, I do highly suggest getting a legal opinion from an attorney on moving forward with such an action. So if you or someone you know is considering a step-parent adoption, contact my office and we'll set you now for a consultation. And if you have any other questions in regards to this topic or any other topic, feel free to message me on any of my social media platforms and I'll either respond directly or we'll make a video discussing the matter. And like, subscribe, and look at some of my other videos. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching.